This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. When wanting to begin a completely new project, you'll have a couple of different ways you can go to get started. This is a file named Starting Over, which can be found in the Working Files folder. If when beginning on a new scene, you'd simply like to clear the deck, having Max revert back to all of its original default settings, you'll want to use a command called Reset. You can find it in the Application menu, the large green button in the upper left-hand corner. Resetting basically has the same effect as exiting the program, then reopening it. The command is designed to clear out not just any objects that you might have on the screen, but to also remove anything that might have been customized in the software for that particular work session. Examples of something customized might be a special viewport layout, your material and texture settings, or any snapping options that might have been activated. Each of those controls will automatically return to the way that they were designed to look and work when Macs originally shipped from the factory. Resetting works kind of like a stopwatch that's being used to time something. After timing out whatever you're testing, a stopwatch provides a button that you can press to take the device back to a kind of starting position. In essence, setting the clock back to zero so you're ready to then time something else. That's pretty much the way that Max's reset command works. It gives you a completely new slate from which to start over, all the settings and controls reverting back to their starting position. Now, if when you hit reset, you already have something on the screen, Max will ask whether or not you're wanting to save that work before the resetting process begins. Let's take a look at how that works. Before we do that, though, let's identify a couple of the specific things in our scene that have been customized so we can fully understand what's being changed when we reset. The viewport layout is pretty obvious. We also have a few snapping commands up on the toolbar that have been activated, specifically both the angle and percent snap toggles. Looking in the material editor by typing M, you'll see that we also have a couple of skins that have been constructed and applied to the various objects in our scene. Let's go ahead and reset and see what happens. Again, we'll go to the Application menu in the upper left-hand corner of the interface. Once under the button, we'll choose Reset. With the scene having been modified, Max is asking us whether we want to save our changes. We'll say no. In the next dialog, asking us if we really want to reset, we'll answer yes. OK, take a look at what's changed. Our viewports are back to their default configurations. All of our snapping commands in the toolbar are back to their off position. And in our material editor, everything that had been previously created has been cleared away. So that's the result of using the reset command. And that's exactly what we'd expect to see as it's the way the command is designed to work. Reset will be the command you'll be using most often when wanting to start over from scratch. But what would happen in a situation where you maybe wanted to carry over some of your custom adjustments from a previous project? Max actually gives you the opportunity to do that by instead using a command called new. Let's take a look at how that differs. I'm going to go ahead and reopen our original starting over scene file. This time, before making the switch to a new project, in addition to the stuff that we've already noted as being customized with the viewport layouts, snaps, and materials, let's also play back our timeline real quick. As you can see, the file also includes a little animation. I'll go ahead and stop the play using the forward slash keyboard shortcut. OK, the difference between New and Reset. When choosing the New command, unlike with the way Reset works, you don't lose all the things that you might have customized before deciding to move on to a new project. Using New, you keep your viewport layout, your snaps remain as they've been set, even whatever skins were built in the material editor hold over from the last project that you had on the screen. You could even keep your objects if needed, and have a few choices as to what to do with any animation that's been keyframed into the scene, or any linking between objects that might have been set up. Every bit of that, if needed or wanted, can be carried over to a new scene. Let's first look at keeping only the customized layout and icon settings. We'll go back in the Application menu in the upper left-hand corner, this time though choosing New. Resting your mouse on the New button, you'll see the New Options over on the right-hand side. This time around, we'll choose New All. Notice that even though the objects have been removed from the scene, our Viewport Layout, Snapping Commands, 
and materials have all been preserved and carry forward from the previous scene. Using the starting over scene file again, let's again choose New, but this time choose the Keep Objects option. Now what's nice about all of the commands under the application menu, Max gives you not just the command name, but a short and concise definition directly below. Go ahead and read the definition for Keep Objects, then you can click the button. Now we've carried over our objects in addition to holding on to our viewports, snaps, and skins. What was lost in the transition was our animation. Any and all keyframing that might have been done in the original scene has now been removed. You can verify that by scrubbing the timeline. So Keep Objects keeps your objects in any configuration settings. What it doesn't keep is any and all animation that you might have had built into the file. Now be sure to keep that one in mind. The Keep Objects version of the new command comes in especially handy when you find yourself in a situation where you'd like to strip out whatever you've animated in a scene, but at the same time not lose all the objects that you had animated. Working maybe in a situation where you simply decided to go in a different direction with how you were wanting to move things around. That'll happen all the time. You keep what you've built, you just strip them of how they were originally animated. Now there's one other option when using the new command that you want to make sure that you're comfortable with, and that's one named Keep Objects in Hierarchy. By the way, all of these options can also be accessed using the Quick Access Toolbar. A hierarchy is a linked relationship that can be set up between two or more objects so that one kind of controls in certain ways the other. We'll be looking at how you can set that up in a later chapter in this title. The Keep Objects in Hierarchy option can be used in a situation where you want to remove a scene's animation, but at the same time you want to keep whatever linking connections might have been set up between the objects in that scene. So it's like, remove my animation, but keep what things that I might be connected or associated to. So there you go with the differences between using the Reset command and its counterpart, the New command. Both will definitely be coming up as you work, so remember what each can offer and choose the one that best facilitates your efforts in your next project.